We just did an exercise, about 400 of our engineers, where we put them all in contact with an end user that they didn't know, not someone they're related really? to. Right? So we basically had them all do at least a one, hour, a one to a one and a half hour user study. And what was amazing is our- With an individual user? Individual users. So wow. they all sat down over the past like four months. We did about 100 people a month. And the usability analyst, it was really interesting what happened because the usability analyst you know, said, well, one thing that happened is they didn't find very many new things but they're tending to listen to them more, right? Because that's sort of that impactfulness of actually hearing it first person. From a real person. It, from a real person is just really powerful to be like, wow, they couldn't find that control. They couldn't find that button. They couldn't figure out how to do that. Um, and then two, it's also causing all the usability analysts more subtle suggestions to carry more weight. Because when now, when the engineers and the product managers read the, read the reports, they're like, oh, I understand what that, what that means, right? I understand, you know, I've seen something similar happen in a user study. So I think that, because people are able to be more vocal, they're able to express themselves more, it's giving more of an opportunity for product developers to find those insights, which is making everything go faster. So I don't think that it's causing you know, various people to be obsolete, and I do think it's causing things to move faster. And I also think that on the negative side, particularly a brand, when you have people out there who are being negative, it's much more important to pay attention to that. Right, like, you know, it's, it's been really, I think there's two instances in the past year where I've tweeted, once I tweeted out Tony Say, a, a great column on him for Zappos. Next thing I knew, like I had emails from Zappos, I had like free gift certificate coupons from, and I, I you know, they, they just sent me all this stuff and I was like, you know, what is in this for them? And they were like, oh, well, they have a fan. Being able to really connect with that fan is really important. I also tweeted once, because I was frustrated with De Delta Airlines, I probably shouldn't have. <laughs> but like when I, when I tweeted about it, it was also amazing like how fast they were on it. Yeah, what but you are problem? Marissa Mayer, after all. No, no, but, I don't, but it wasn't that, because there's been a lot of other people who have, have had the same experience. If you tweet and you're unhappy, like, so the, the chances are that somebody from that, that organization is gonna be quickly in contact with you to find out where are you, what went wrong, how can we make it better? Because they, you know, they can't let those types of, of negative brand perceptions sit.